In this edition of RIN TV, Munich Re says natural catastrophes are down. The U.S. Affordable Care Act continues to spark political debate as managed care providers retrench. Andy Barril explains the Bermuda tax haven getting political attention and a RIN TV new product spotlight. All this and more, you're watching World Risk and Insurance News on RIN TV. Hello, I'm Marisa Christian, and here's what's happening in the world of insurance. Munich Re reports that losses from natural catastrophes around the world were below average in terms of fatalities and losses for the first half of 2012. In the U.S., insured losses were $9.3 billion, far below the $24.4 billion in losses for the first six months of 2011. Thunderstorms accounted for $8.8 .8 billion of U.S. losses, making it the third most costly spring season in U.S. history. And while a mild winter cut losses from storms and spring flooding, the lack of precipitation exacerbated drought conditions and contributed to record wildfires. For the full Munich Re report, including information supplied by the Insurance Information Institute, visit our on-demand library. The U.S. House of Representatives voted to repeal the Affordable Care Act after the Supreme Court labeled parts of the new law a tax. Meanwhile, the law's expansion of Medicaid for as many as 17 million poor Americans is increasing demand for private insurers who manage health care benefits. Dr. Robert Hartwig from the Insurance Information Institute predicted changes would come right here on our program. I expect that how the managed care environment uh, operates is probably going to change over the next couple of years, but it's a little too soon to tell. Uh, I think now that the fog is cleared with the Supreme Court decision, we're going to begin to hear a lot of announcements by managed care providers uh, and others about how they are going to restructure their business begin 2014. Well, Dr. Hartwig was right. Shortly after his prediction, WellPoint announced it will buy Amerigroup. The result will be the largest managed care market for Medicaid patients. Analysts believe this could be the first in a wave of consolidations. Large health insurers will be looking for ways to expand, with managed care firms like Centene and WellCare Health Plans likely targets. Sticking with politics, Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney has come under fire for his foreign investments, including those in Bermuda. To help us sort this out, we called on Andy Barill, noted author and consultant in the area of captive management. Andy is a regular contributor to RIN TV and hosts of Captive Currents. Here are highlights of our discussion. Andy, welcome back to the program. Thank you. It's uh, great to be back. Can you break down the claims being made regarding Mitt Romney's foreign investments? Uh, yes. Well, since July 4th, President Obama has had journalists from Vanity Fair, Associated Press, NPR do stories about Mitt Romney's company in Bermuda, which is, seems to be called Sanctity High Yield Asset Investors Limited, which is a, a Bermuda-controlled foreign corporation. These tax laws have been around for quite some time, right? Yes, the tax laws came into a, a, a being with, uh, with President Kennedy, who, who, who obviously focused on uh, earnings in, or, in offshore companies by U.S. shareholders. He had recognized that a number of the oil companies had formed insurance companies uh, in Bermuda, and, and his philosophy was that if they were earning income on writing U.S. risks in the United States, that, that all, all those earnings should be taxed and given the benefit to the, to the federal government. And so there really is no tax advantages to a controlled foreign corporation owned by a U.S. shareholder, which is what Mitt Romney has. So there's nothing illegal about them. In fact, these same tax laws benefit insurance captives. Yes, it, it, the insurance companies have been in Bermuda, uh, Gulf Oil Corporation, Chevron Corporation, they all own Bermuda companies. Most of the Fortune 500, in fact, have Bermuda insurance companies. And they're very familiar with the tax laws. It's been a very big uh, advantage. There's over 860 Bermuda insurance companies uh, on the island, and, and they all help, uh, actually, U.S. risks because they, they write a lot of uh, coverages. In fact, uh, recently, um, uh, John Paulson and Steve Cohn have put billion-dollar Bermuda insurance reinsurance companies put in place in Bermuda. They're not getting as much headlines as Mitt Romney's $12,000 Scantity High Yield Asset Investors Limited Bermuda Company. 
Andy, thank you for joining us. Well, thank you. It's always great to be here. If you'd like to see more of my discussion with Andy, visit our on-demand library. And now for a RIN TV new product spotlight. ACE adds catastrophe management coverage to its environmental risk insurance products. Chartis adds PLL Power Pack to its next-gen protection suite for environmental exposures in the power generation industry. Assurant and G-Cube have partnered to offer insurance coverage and warranty management to mid-size solar photovoltaic projects. Argo Pro introduced Information and Professional Risk Playbook, a new cyber liability insurance product. Markel launched new phone and online consulting services for employment practice liability customers. And finally, Allied World launched a new construction casualty division that will offer CGL, commercial auto, railroad protective, and owners and contractors protective. If you'd like more information on the coverages featured in our new product spotlight, visit our on-demand library. That's all for now. I'm Marisa Christian. Join us next time for more world risk and insurance news on RIN TV.